Found a video of an explosive emergency that you will only see on 10. The front windows of a Broward restaurant being blown out by a gas blast. Local 10's Terrell Fournay joins us with more. Well, all of this happened in the 500 block of Northwest 24th Street. Take a look behind me. This building is now boarded up because of what happened, and this restaurant has been deemed an unsafe structure. The explosion happened without warning. Here you see glass blown from the front of a restaurant. This explosion was big enough to blow out the windows. Um, it blew the oven door off. When the dust settled, a gaping hole was left in severe tropical restaurant where you could see clear through to the kitchen counter. The restaurant's daily customers showed up today to find the mess and the business closed. I broke my hat. We're told an employee who was opening the store apparently had trouble lighting the gas stove when she started to cook. She said there was problems with the pilot. So as she was trying to fix it, gas was, was pouring out of this stove. So when she finally did light it, there was an explosion. The blast caught on camera. Seconds later on this surveillance video, you see concerned bystanders rushing over. And then that dazed and injured female worker, who was the only one inside at the time, emerge from the business and sit on an outdoor bench. It's not long before firefighters and paramedics arrive to investigate the scene and take that woman to the hospital. <laughs> The cleanup has been underway all afternoon as the owners now figure out their next steps. All this following the explosion that even shook framed pictures off the walls of neighboring businesses. Glass shattered there too, but nothing like the damage at this small popular restaurant. That surprised me. But thank God, you know, nobody died. So the woman who works inside of here, she is recovering at North Broward Hospital. We understand that she has some burns on her face and also the lower part of her body, but she is expected to be okay. She has non-life-threatening injuries. Reporting from Pompano Beach, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.